check my testing. Okay, let's start. Parent Heaven, thank you for the opportunity to learn. For give us some reasons. Please give us wisdom and understanding. We improve our talents for your glory in Jesus' name we pray. Okay, today we are going, because it's week of prayer, we are going to discuss the syllabus. <laughs> the first word of the syllabus, are we recording? Okay, the first word of the syllabus is Adventist. Yeah. And Adventist means, you know what meaning of Adventist is? The meaning of Adventist is this. Number one, <laughs> we believe the Holy Scriptures. Number two, we believe the Trinity. But I will first discuss number one. That's why I, the first project I ask you to do is to make a Bible search. Because Christians, they believe the Bible. Old and New Testament. Because Jesus said, according to Moses, Jesus said, it is written by Joel the prophet. Even the people in the New Testament were saying those things. So, that means the people in the New Testament believe the Old Testament is true. <clears throat> but there is something here, class, that I like you to see. By the way, the reason I like to advertise Bible, one of the reasons is that it makes you more intelligent because Psalm 9, 199 of oh, 119 99 says, I have more understanding than all my teachers, for thy testimonies are my meditation. Furthermore, Ellen White says that the best for intellectual culture. is the study of the word. The Bible is the best book for giving intellectual culture. The Bible is the best book in the world for intellectual culture. So if we want our children to have intellectual culture or us, the best thing to study is the Bible. That's why I ask you to make a Bible database, search database, as a first project. Anyway, the Bible came not of private interpretation, but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. Also, all scripture is given. If you don't understand any part of the Bible, you just read all the Bible and you will understand. There's one computer scientist who is very good researcher. His name is Clinton Waller. This guy, he was a teacher in IS, and he was the first teacher of uh, online teacher of Greek, I think, or Hebrew. It was Greek, and he asked. They asked me to make a. Because their program was Moodle, and Moodle could not understand his exam, because his exam is in Greek. 
So they asked me to help and I was consultant and I made a program to help their model understand the his exam. And then later I found out he is a very good researcher and he used to be a computer scientist before he became an Adventist. So he was defending the ordination of male only. And he, because he, I said, I said, sir, I appreciate how you defend from the Bible. A lot of people don't understand according, this one, this word, according, according. For example, if I say after the class, I'm going to PIC. But Jam says after class, serving is going to Finster. That is opposite, diba? But if I say uh, after PIC, uh, after class, I'm going to PIC. But Jam says after class, serving is going to Kubo. It's not opposite, but is it according? Hindi, diba? Kasi kulang. So, what is according is what is true. If it is according to the Bible, then there is light. If the Isaiah 8.20 says, if it is not according to this word, there is no light in them. Yeah, and so, in my investigation, all the doctrines here are according to the Bible. They are really according. For example, uh, baptism. This, is there, do you know a Bible verse that says, Thou shalt not baptize by sprinkling? Hindi naman yung bawal, di ba? Why are we, ad, why are Adventists not baptizing with sprinkling? Because it is not according to the Bible. What is according to the Bible is uh, immersion. Because Jesus came out of the water. <clears throat> so that's how we understand According, yeah, according. So if you don't, if, if some things are hard to understand, you just read the whole Bible because it says all scripture, 2 Timothy 3.16. Dr. Wallen told me, Vinal Fred, there's another way to find the truth. I said, Doctor, what is, what is it? You have to read everything. Because 2 Timothy 3.16 said all scripture. Okay, next topic is Trinity. Where is Trinity in the Bible? It is the word is not there, but the idea is there. It says in Deuteronomy, in Matthew 28, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. That's why I am teaching. And, and then we have the Father who is the Creator. How many lines of code have you programmed in your whole life? Me in C, maybe 80,000, 100,000 lines. In PHP, PHP is very easy. You, you program 200 lines and if in, you finish the enrollment system. <laughs> no, enrollment system may be 500 lines only. But, but in C and C++, you pro, I program the cashier, I think it's 3,000 lines of code or I program Many things that are about 3,000 to 6,000 lines of code each program. So I used to type thousands of lines of codes every week. And I made hundreds of code in uh, programs in C and C++. But God created heaven and earth. Imagine, I made, I made a little part of Ionis. Sir Ian made a lot of part of uh, my AP Life book. But God made the heaven and earth. <laughs> so God is the creator, sustainer. So God made heaven and earth. He is the source code. He is the truth. And he is the Meralco also. <laughs> he supplied the electricity. So God is the inventor of the whole universe. And we also have the sun. By the way, why is Trinity so hard to understand? Because God doesn't fit mathematics. In mathematics, three is not equal to one. But in God, there is one God, the Bible says, but there is God the Father and Son and the Holy Ghost. So God does not fit in mathematics. 
God does not fit in our language in Tagalog, in English, in Greek, and Hebrew. That's why language and mathematics are not enough to explain God. Our language. So Jesus Christ, God the Son became Jesus Christ. And by the way, John 1 says, And the Word became flesh. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word became... And the Word... Uh, okay, let's just read. John 1, KJV. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him not anything was made. And then, what else? Yeah. So Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Okay. He became, I know, he became man. And then, he was, he is our perfect example. Jesus said, be therefore perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Imagine, if Jesus is the Son of God, and we are also sons of God, then Jesus is our brother. Diba? Yan. Jesus suffered voluntarily. You know how this works? If I sin, John will volunteer to die for me, because he is a good guy. The problem is, the next day, I have another sin. So somebody needs to volunteer. Patrick will volunteer to die for me. The prob so that means all my students will be finished <laughs> in short time because I have many sins. But if angel maybe will die for my sin, maybe an angel is bigger. That's why only Jesus Christ can solve our sin problem. You know why? Because Jesus is unlimited. Jesus' death is enough for everyone. See? Because, why? Because Jesus is also infinite. So an, only an infinite can uh, be, can resolve the sin problem. Even if the angel wants to solve it, he cannot, the angels cannot solve it. But we are not saved by works. You know why we are not saved by works? I think we are not saved by works because we are supposed to do good works. If you are supposed to do good works and you do something bad, you have sin. If you do something good, there is nothing, there is no bonus because you are supposed to do something good anyway. Diba, diba? Okay. So, Jesus Christ became the substitute. Are you afraid to die? Are you afraid to die if you know that you will be resurrected? Diba? It's okay, as long as I will be resurrected. But uh, are you afraid to die and you know that you will never be resurrected? That is the second death. That is what Jesus died for us. So even if we die now, Jesus will resurrect us. The problem is, if we die the second death, that is that... Uh, fearful, the uh, no, scary thing. Okay, that's why the martyrs are not afraid to die, because it is just the first death. It's not the second death. The second death is the scary thing. Because you know, you're, you know you're, go, you're supposed to be alive, but you are not alive. And you will never be alive again. That's why Jesus died the second death for everyone so that everyone has a chance to repent and be resurrected forever instead of dead forever. Okay. The Holy Spirit was hovering upon the face of the earth. I don't know. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. So the Holy Spirit was already there in creation. Of course, God is the Holy Spirit is God, and God is from eternity to eternity. There is no end and no beginning. Do you know why you like computer? 
because the Holy Spirit gave you interest for computer. Ah, okay. He gives spiritual gifts to the church and empowers it to bear witness to Christ in harmony with the scriptures. So, the Holy Spirit teach us all things. I was trying to learn JavaScript, but after 12 years, I finally understood JavaScript. <laughs> you know how I understood JavaScript? I recorded many week of prayers. After the week of prayer recording, I already know JavaScript. <laughs> I was trying to study JavaScript. By the way, if you think you are very, your mind is slow, you try to read Proverbs. This is what I do. I read two to three chapters of Proverbs, and then when I program, my mind is very fast. This is my secret. Okay, number six, creation. We are not from monkeys, because if we are from monkey, how come monkey is still there? Kung galing tayo sa unggoy, bakit may unggoy pa rin? Ha? Nalate sila, katulad ng ibang classmate yung nalilate. <laughs> okay. We were created perfect. God programmed the whole universe. Wow. In just, uh, no, uh, voice command. Except for humans, we use uh, manual. The first man and woman were created in the image of God. That's why, you know why we, we, like, we like to make robot? We like to make, we are like God. God likes to make something that is like him. And therefore, we also like to make something that is like us. <clears throat> Next, nature of man. We were created perfect, but because of sin, we were born with sin, sinful tendency. Yeah. That's why, because your, our parents are kulokoy, we are kulokoy also. But the Holy Spirit helps us when we repent to overcome the evil that uh, evil tendency. Great controversy. Sino mas marami? Mabuti o masama? Who are more? The bad angels or good angels? Of course, there are more good angels. If you, if you are walking and then you meet a bad angel, you just call God's help. He will send two good angels. Because God has two times amount of angels. Because only one third of the angel followed uh, Satan. Lucifer became Satan in Ezekiel, it says, because of your beauty and your wisdom, you were sin was found in you. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought. And there was no more place for Lucifer in heaven. And they were thrown out of heaven. The issue in the great controversy is worship. Sino ang masusunod? Yung programmer o yung hacker? <laughs> Yan. So, uh, Satan wants to fake everything. God said marriage is between man and woman. Now Satan wants to say same-sex marriage is okay. God said the baptism is uh, going under the water, but Satan wants to just use uh, sprinkling. God said you worship on Sabbath, but Satan says you can worship other day, on other day. You can, you can other Sabbath is not important anymore. God said, uh, what else? Salvation is free, Ephesians 2, 8. For by grace you are saved through faith and not of yourselves. But Satan, the enemy, says you just pay. You can continue sinning and just pay and it will give money to the church. So Satan wants to change all of the ideas that God said. You know why? Because he is proud. He wants to prove that his idea is better. God said, this is the Ten Commandments. Satan said, what for? <laughs> we were created perfect. Why do we need Ten Commandments? Diba, diba? Did you understand class? 
Satan is very bad. He is deceiving the whole world. But he is not going to win because God will win the great controversy. Okay. Life and death and resurrection. So when we need help, you ask God and God will help. But they cannot force us. So the good side cannot force us, the bad side cannot force us. We have freedom of choice. Okay, let's see. Did Jesus live on, in earth? I went to the Facebook and then I debated with the atheist. I said, I told the atheist class, you look at this. I told the atheist, atheist, you should use your own calendar because this is the Christian calendar. <laughs> what is 2024? It's uh, 2024, 2000 years before, after Christ. If you are an atheist, you should put millions and millions of years. Diba? It was in 2024. This is the after Jesus was around. It is based in Jesus' time. So if you don't believe the Bible, you should just put millions of years in your calendar. They are very angry with me. And they told me all the bad words in the dictionary. So I block many of them. Number 10, experience of salvation. Hanggang anong oras na tayo dito? 4.30, di ba? Experience of salvation, this is the most amazing thing, class. Imagine we have sin, and God erases our sin. Wow. So, there is, uh, you repent, and God forgives the sin. Very easy, simple. Just repent. But the Holy Spirit helps us to be humble and acknowledge our sinfulness. If we don't repent, how can God forgive us? If we don't repent, that means we don't uh, tayo maamin. We don't acknowledge that we are wrong. And if we don't repent, we will not be forgiven. So it is the pride that help uh, that doesn't that help prevents Satan from repenting. Okay, and then uh, there is sanctification. We continue learning new things and obeying. The more you obey, by the way, I, I found out, the more you obey, the more things God will tell you. Because if you don't obey, why, why add more truth? And, and then there is glorification when Jesus comes. Yeah, this is the most important topic. We make sure, I want to make sure that you understand this one. Yeah, How to be saved. Just repent and believe. You know what believe means? Before I did not know what believe means. What is, what is believe? Yes, I believe. But you know how to measure belief? You know class how to measure belief? By obedience. If I tell you, you know, there is a gold under the bridge. But you don't believe me, you don't go in there. But if you believe me, you go and obey, right? So how do you know if somebody is believing? Yeah, if you obey. If I said, you know, if you finish this one, you will get A. Okay. <clears throat> Whoever we obey, he is our God. So make we want to obey the real God. Okay. Experience of salvation. How can I explain salvation in the computer? Growing in Christ. Yeah. Do you know, class, I tried to compute. How many brain cells does human have? I think I told you already. How many brain cells does human have? 86 billion neurons. How many connections can one neuron make? 15,000. How many humans have, have ever lived? 
117 billion daw. You multiply that, there is 26 zeros. I think that's how, that's a small part of God's computer because he has to restore everything from back up when he resurrects everyone when he comes. <clears throat> so this is the experience of salvation. Growing in Christ, meaning if you understand some things before, you should, con you should continue to understand. Okay, and then we are not afraid of evil spirits because God is more powerful. Ano pa? Number 12, church. What is the church? Everybody who believes Jesus Christ is part of the church. There is a true church and false church. The true church teaches what is according to the Bible. And of course, the false church is teaching something else. Remnant and mission. <clears throat> You don't become true church just to just to become true church. You have an assignment. And the assignment is to proclaim the three angels' messages of Revelation 14, which is judgment and repentance and reform on earth. Okay. Unity in the body of Christ, it means class that we have different kinds of people as we are interested in computer. Some people are interested in music. Some people are a good preacher, but we are all working for one boss in heaven. Okay. Baptism, we already talked about baptism. You know why I like to go to baptism? Because the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are mentioned there. They are there. Special mention. The Lord's Supper, Jesus said, you should repent and forgive one another. And be humble and serve one another and do the Lord's Supper. Spiritual gift and ministry. Yeah, we have different kinds of gifts. Some are pastoral, some evangelistic, apostolic, teaching, and service. And if you want more gifts, you can ask. Do you want more gifts? <laughs> the Bible says, ask and it shall be given. So if you want to be to be good preacher, you just watch the preachers and then you copy what they are doing and then you ask the Holy Spirit to help you. The gift of prophecy. Yan. Joel 2.28 says, In the last days there will be prophets. Your sons and daughters shall prophesy. That's why there is voice of youth. Have you joined voice of youth class? Have you joined voice of youth? You should join. It's very nice. You will eat kamote. And you will preach. You will give Bible study every day. And you will sing and you will be happy in your life. Okay, the gift of prophecy. How do you test uh, a prophet? If they are speaking according to what is in the Bible. Number two, by their fruits you shall know them. Okay. So, number three, if the prophet says something and that something happens, right? Because only God knows the future. So Ellen White passed the biblical test of prophecy. In the last days, there will be a people who has the spirit of prophecy. They keep the commandments of God. And they have the testimony of Jesus, and the Jesus testimony is the spirit of prophecy, according to Revelation 19:10. Law of God, okay. The law of God class is the Ten Commandments. Number one, thou shalt have no other gods before me. Number two, thou shalt not make any unto thee any image. Any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down their souls to them nor serve them for either or thy God am a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Number three. Number three, but number four. Number three. 
Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. Number four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Not wholesome, holy. Anong difference ng wholesome? Wholesome, you can play basketball or wholesome. But holy is different. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, nor my manservant, nor my main servant, nor thy cattle, nor the stranger that is within thy gates. Why? For in six days the Lord God made he the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Number six. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Number seven, thou shalt not kill. Number eight, thou shalt not commit adultery. Number nine, number nine ba ito? Mali na yung number ko. This is number six. Number seven, thou shalt not kill. Number eight, thou shalt not commit adultery. Number nine, thou shalt not steal. But subra. <laughs> subra yung ten commandments ko. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Bakit ganun? Ito ang Sabbath ay 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor, number 9. Thou shalt not, number 10, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor, his any, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Okay, that is the Ten Commandments. The quiz, there is a test. The question is the Ten Commandments. It is open notes. That's why I like open notes quiz. Because real life is open notes. Even the judgment is open notes. And the notes, you guess where the notes are? In the Bible. Okay, that is the test of life. Number 20, the Sabbath. This is our favorite. Why? Because it is also God's favorite. He rested the seventh day. Is God tired? Of course he is God. He doesn't get tired. Because why do we keep Sabbath? Because God rested on the Sabbath on the seventh day. God rested from sunset to sunset. So, what can you do and not do on the Sabbath? Anything holy that the people in the Bible did on the Sabbath, we can do. Healing, like Jesus healed on the Sabbath, we can do it also. Why? Because Jesus is Lord of the Sabbath. He is the one who invented the Sabbath. Whatever he did is okay. <clears throat> Jesus said, God said, in Exodus 16.23, do not cook on Sabbath. You cook your Sabbath food before the Friday. In Exodus 16. You know what? Uh, Exodus 20 is 10 commandments. Exodus 16 is Sabbath cooking prohibition. And then why it says, those who cook on the Sabbath violate the fourth commandment. And also the official teaching of the Adventist Church is not is to cook the food before Sabbath class, okay? If you hear somebody teaching other things, it is not official. Stewardship. Yan. Tithe. Malakai 3 tenses. Will a man rob God? Yet ye have robbed me. Bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. And prove me now, David, if I will not open the windows of heaven. So class, if you delay your tithe, you delay the window of, of, of heaven to open. If you give your tithe promptly, the windows of heaven will also open promptly. And if you don't give your tithe at all, you are not only stealing, you are robbing, you are a hold up. <laughs> because God, God is looking at you, but you are taking his money. You are like right hold up. Rubbing, not stealing only, rubbing. 
So, let us be faithful. I try to give advance type. There, I have another secret. I try to give advance type. Maybe the window will open advance. <laughs> Di ba? But God is very faithful. God has a lot of money. He don't need money. He just, this is just a test. He is just testing us if we are uh, faithful. Christian behavior. Wow. 4.15. Okay, it says here, class, oh, you look at this, oh, you see? This means that our amusement and entertainment should meet the highest standard of Christian taste and beauty. Okay. So, our dress should be simple and modest and neat and befitting. Ano pa? Of course, we do not, we, we need to exercise and take bath and rest. Oh, rest, yeah. We should sleep. And eat the most healthful diet possible. For poor people, you don't have to be vegetarian. But if you can buy cell phone, you should <laughs> buy malungay also. And then White says the 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 health the vegetarian idea is not for people who has nothing to eat. <clears throat> the most healthful diet. Okay. You know why people are getting sick? Because they are eating the oily food. Okay, alcohol. We don't drink alcohol because alcohol damages the mind and kills many people because the vehicles now are fast. <clears throat> if you drink and you drive, you kill many people because the vehicles are fast. In the Bible times, if you drink and you drive, your camel will not uh, kill anyone. <laughs> your horse will not kill anyone. <laughs> but now our car is very fast. Tobacco, we don't smoke because smoke kills, gives lung cancer and irresponsible use of drugs that are harmful. And Christian behavior. Marriage and family, 417. The Bible says, class, that uh, husbands love your wife in, where is that? In Ephesians 5. And the wife uh, uh, submit to the husband. But the same paragraph says, submit to each other. Okay. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. What else? So that is the marriage and the family. Uh, parents, you should teach your children the law of God while you are sleeping, while you are lying down, when you rise up, and while you are walking, and while you are sitting in your house. Deuteronomy 6, 7. So those are the instructions. That's why I put many Bible verse in Iolis personal, in Iolis. So because the Bible says we should teach the Bible all the time. Number 24, Christ ministry in the heavenly sanctuary. Jesus is our high priest. There is no other denomination who can explain uh, the 2,300 days. And you see your history in the Bible. Because in 1844, we thought that Jesus was coming. But Jesus did not come actually. He went to the most holy place in heaven. And if you compute that, that's 2,300 days <clears throat> since uh, the giving out of the uh, command to get out of Babylon. <clears throat> Furthermore, Revelation 10 says that truth will be bitter, uh, sweet to the mouth and bitter in the belly. But, it says in verse 11, but you must prophesy again to all nations and tongues and people. So that is what we are going doing now. We are prophesying again. There is no other, there is no other denomination that you can trace in prophecy until the end of the earth, until the end of the world, of time. If you understand heavenly sanctuary and the church theology, you will understand very nice. Number 25, 
second coming of Christ. Yan. Jesus Christ is coming. He said, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may be also. <clears throat> when is he coming? Jesus said, only my Father in heaven knows. It is not for you to know. Be ye always ready. Occupy it till I come. Number 26. Even if we die, no problem. Because Jesus Christ resurrect himself. He can also resurrect us. If we repented. But there are two resurrections. The other one is the resurrection of the righteous. And after 1,000 years, <clears throat> the resurrection of the unrighteous. And then the righteous will be with God and be here in the earth. And the unrighteous will try to attack the holy city. But God will send fire and will consume them. And they will never be alive again. Sayang. Libre naman ang magsisi. But it, pride will not make them change their mind anymore. Anyway, there is 1,000 years uh, between the resurrection of the saints and the resurrection of the wicked. And what are what is going to do the what will happen in the millennium? Satan will be here in the earth alone with his angels. There is nobody to tempt. <clears throat> and the saint will be in heaven reading the database. Reading the database of everything that happened in the last 6,000 years. And trying to understand what, what mistakes happened so that we will not repeat again. And in the new heaven and the new earth, there will be no more sin. And sin will be no more. There will be no more suffering. Therefore, no suffering, no death. Nahum 1.9 says, no more suffering will not happen a second time. Why? Because we are the, the right the saints are dala na. And after reviewing everything, dala na ang sa kasalanan. And God shall reign forever. That is the what we read from the Bible. Actually, it's just all Bible. Okay. Is there any question, class? No question? The way, all questions can be resolved by reading the whole Bible. According to the Bible. Okay, and asking other people who read also. I think it's already time. Let's pray. Our Father in heaven, thank you for the opportunity to review our beliefs. Thank you for the truth. Thank you for being the great programmer and also the uh, redeemer of all the errors that we did and for sending the Holy Spirit giving us interest and talents and motivation and a chance to practice and to help in the, in the work of the church please give us wisdom and understanding as Solomon asked to do your work in Jesus name I pray Amen Okay. <clears throat>